No, they are, and you know, I know people have, have laughed and dismissed it in, in, in the uh, in the in the past, and, and and good luck to them. But there is a reason why these people understand fundamentally how to manipulate the reptilian brain of humans, and that's because they they are reptilian, and uh, they are the epitome of every trait that we talked about uh, today um, in the reptilian brain, and one of one of them is that it is stupid and it does not learn from experience. And it is, it is um, hell-bent on taking this uh, to, to the sort of levels you're talking about. But we, and, and, and they've been working towards this for a long time. I mean, I've been talking about this nanotechnology, which are beyond microchips. You see, because the body uh, is a biological computer, you can access it through techn technological means. This is what this whole thing about the uh, computer brain interface is, where they're talking about putting a chip in the brain and then you can work your computer without using your hands. Um, that's all because they're actually connecting two computers, one more fantastic than the other, yes, but two computers. And so this nanotechnology takes on a completely new light when you realize that because its ability to influence the body computer is fantastic and uh, that's the real level that they're operating on the, the nano level all right long segment coming up take phone calls 30 minutes left with david ike david ike.com and david tell them about your speaking engagements uh when we get back okay, okay. folks stay with us we'll be right back Five, ten minutes of overdrive today because I want to just sit back and let David Icke make his statement about where he sees the world's going. I have a bunch of other stuff I want to get to, but I want to take your calls and time is running out. And I got some sponsors I need to thank right now. So we'll go back to David Icke here in just one moment. First off, acolablue.com. Ladies and gentlemen, your body is a biological computer, an electrochemical computer. And the establishment on record is forcibly medicating us with Prozac, statins on record in the water supply and sodium fluoride and the rest of it. A Cola Blue is a high quality atmospheric water generator that grabs the water out of the air and puts it through reverse osmosis, carbon, UV filters, you name it, seven different filters. Uh, check them out online at ecolblue.com. That's a Cola Blue.com or give them a call at 1-800-691-6043. Really, Amazing system. Get yourself one today. 800-691-6043. Continuing, one of our other great sponsors that makes the show possible is Home Game. You can check out uh, Max Little Orange Gorilla. Gorilla on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. It's an absolutely free service. You just put in your home address and it will tell you uh, what real estate agents are seeing the real worth of your house is. If you want to get an idea uh, what what uh, the system thinks your house is really worth. That's homegain.com, H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. And they have another home sale maximizer where it just tells you the most inexpensive improvements to make on your house for the greatest resale value. And it also will tell you houses that you're looking at, how much they're really worth. Invaluable tool, homegain.com, H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. And again, if you forget the address, max the little Orange Gorilla. And last sponsor of the day, My Solar Backup. A lot of things can cut off your electrical power, hurricanes, snow, and ice storms. Listeners should move towards getting off the grid, and here's a good way to do just that. A solar power generator is now available from our longtime sponsors, Solutions from Science. It's designed to provide 800 watts of power on demand in the event of any disaster or outage. You get an emergency power backup kit, which consists of the power source 1800 power plant, a high-efficiency solar panel designed to provide endless electricity, Remember, too, that gas generators need gas, but in the blackout, gas pumps can't pump gas because they run on electricity. The solar generators like having a silent power plant hidden in your home. It's the perfect emergency backup for troubled times. The government doesn't own the sun yet, folks, so make your move now. MySolarBackup.com, that's MySolarBackup.com, or you can always call them toll-free at 877-327-0365, 877-327-0365. David Ike. Briefly getting back into this Ray Kurzweil stuff. I know you've read what the futurists and the transhumanists and the eugenicists say. And, and, and you're right. They just say, well, we're scientific and we say that you have no right to the future and we're going to get rid of you. But then if you talk about going after them physically, they freak out and yell and scream and call SWAT teams on you. So really it's just a cold blooded, as we say. And again, reptiles are cold blooded, the reptilian brain. 
This is a cold-blooded idea and system, and they sit there like our opinions don't even matter. But that's a mind game. We do have force of will. We can stand up to them, and they're scared of us having that purpose and deciding we're not listening to their propaganda. We are warm-blooded. We do have red blood, and we're marching against their tyranny, whatever the cost, because humanity's future depends on it not being captured by a group of predatory homo sapiens sapiens uh, who are uh, acting uh, like vampires. Uh, yeah, the thing is, Alex, that what they're terrified of um, more than anything else is people becoming conscious beyond mind and beyond the computer level of perception. You can see in their own writings how they, they use phrases like, uh, you know, in in my words, they they're terrified of mavericks. Mavericks are people that could could bring the whole thing down. And what are mavericks? Mavericks are people who are not programmed, who, who are not following secular ritual behavior and responses and reactions, but are actually conscious enough to to um, act in ways that are different to the norm, ways that you can't call. And you know, um, when it's so important that if you take the, the 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 body to be to be in the center of this, on one side you've got the um, the Illuminati families, and I would say what is behind them, um, trying to program the computer and trying to destabilize the computer. Because all this stuff with fluoride and aspartame and, and all these other electrochemical sources of disruption, they're there to literally put viruses in the computer. And when you put viruses in your laptop computer, what happens? It stops working properly. It stops thinking straight. It stops uh, operating to full potential. That's the idea. But when consciousness enters enters the body, um, it can overpower those programs and it can overpower those effects on the body. I, I, I remember a, a story it illustrates what I'm talking about when there was one of these, uh, these Eastern mystic guys um, uh, who was being used as part of an LSD experiment when they were experimenting in the 60s with LSD and some uh, professor was over uh, trying to see the effect on people. And he gave this guy a dose of LSD, which, which should have blown his mind. Nothing happened. The guy smiled at him. He then um, uh, doubled the dose eventually, and the guy um, uh, still smiled at him, and there was no effects of the LSD on this guy uh, whatsoever. Why? Because the guy was conscious, and through consciousness, it overpowered the effect of the drug. And that's just an illustration of how... When we're conscious, we can overpower all these attacks on the body, and we can see through the, uh, the, the from a consciousness point of view, blatant uh, means of manipulation. And that's what these guys are terrified of, and I mean terrified, because when humanity becomes conscious, their game is over. It's like we talked about last time in the... The movie uh, uh, with the grasshoppers, where he said to the about the ants, if they work out that there's, uh, you know, loads of them and a few of us, there goes our way of life. When we become conscious, there goes our way of life, and that's why they have worked so constantly and incessantly through electrochemical means, through programming, through uh, words and other means, uh, through religious uh, belief. Uh, extremism and uh, and dogma to hold us in body consciousness, and uh, that's what they're terrified of, of us breaking out of, and we're doing it, and that's why they're in a panic. And David, I mean, just to simplify it, by poisoning the higher brain, you know, the higher levels, which is a, a physiological fact, as people get poisoned and toxified more and more, they revert to the lower animal reptile saltwater crocodile brain and just like a person once they've had alzheimer's now people at 25 getting it from all the aluminum and mercury yeah everything reverts back to the level of a baby and the old man's throwing his feces against the wall i mean that's a horrible uh, parallel but that's they want to keep us in that and now you talk to the public you watch sitcoms and they talk slow and the public you, you see the public you'll see somebody who's upright and, and, and they'll kind of be at a store looking around at other people kind of freaked out. I was having this experience last night in two stores I went to. You could see people that were conscious. They'd be like, oh, you're conscious. And they were kind of all freaked out. And then the rest of the people were like, ooh. And, I'm real, and it seems like it's accelerating right now, David. It was kind of freaking me out because I wasn't on acid, but it was almost like an acid trip watching. And I was seeing other people that were noticing 
I mean, uh, do you see the point I'm making? Well, the, the thing is, there is a parting of the ways here. I mean, I'm seeing it more and more.